There is an overwhelming amount of thumbsticks that someone could buy. So I'm here to hopefully make that decision process a little less overwhelming. How you doing YouTube? I'm Ica Bowl. For those of you that want a quick, short, easy answer for what I would recommend as a just go-to for any thumbstick um, would be these three here. If you're buying any type of thumbstick, you're doing it for shooter games that involve accuracy. Therefore, the three I would just off the top recommend, Control Freak Inferno thumbsticks because they are tall, they give you leverage, and that's amazing. They have good grip and they're a nice concave style, which feels great. Next one up are these sick Call of Duty Vanguard ones. These are one of my favorites because they look cool. Again, tall thumbstick. These are a hybrid design, so they're not concave or domed, but they're somewhere in between. Those are amazing. And these ones are different between the first two because they're not as tall. There's a lip on 80% of the thumbstick and the rubber on these ones, specifically the white ones, not the orange ones. These ones are made with a nice, different style texture rubber that's so grippy and sticky. Again, don't mix them up with the orange ones because they seem like they're a little bit different. The white ones are the ones that have a really tacky, rubbery feel, which feels amazing. So if you're looking for grip, definitely get these ones here. Those are my first three recommendations. And here are the three that I don't recommend. First one is the Control Freak logo one. The second one is the Overwatch one. And this third one here is the Modern Warfare one. Those last two are actually discontinued, but I'll touch more on those guys later. We mainly have Xbox stuff in front of me here, but they do make thumbsticks for your PlayStation and for your Nintendo too. Moving on, Control Freaks and any kind of performance thumbstick that you might find out there have typically three different heights. You have your short, low-rise thumbsticks, you have your mid-rise thumbsticks, and then you have your high-rise thumbsticks. So the first one here is your low-rise thumbstick. It's not really gonna be used as an aiming thumbstick. It's more so gonna be used for your movement bound left analog stick. And that's because there's no height to it. So it's not gonna give you leverage. More so just going to increase the actual surface area of the thumbstick because it has a bigger width and increase your grip, which are still both great things. In fact, that's the one I use on my left thumbstick. The next one is the mid-rise thumbstick which again, isn't really used for aiming, but perhaps if you have small hands and the high rise is not really working for you, you can go with these mid rise ones. Or if not, a lot of people tend to also use these on your movement bound thumbstick as well. Lastly, the king of all kings, the high rise thumbstick. These are the ones you're gonna be wanting for your shooter games to give you the best accuracy. So based on my three recommendations, even though there are so many thumbsticks right here right now, the best ones you can use are the high rise thumbsticks because they're gonna offer you the most accuracy. Because if you think about it, your range of motion on a standard thumbstick is pretty small, right? And when you're adding height to it, it's increasing the arch distance and the distance your thumb has to travel to go from side to side. Basically, think of it like this. Say you're seven years old again and you're in Microsoft Paint and you open up a blank white square canvas that is 50 pixels by 50 pixels. And what you do is you draw a crappy little smiley face right in the middle of that canvas. It's all crappy because it's a small resolution image and you can see your jagged lines because it's all pixelated and tiny. Now think of that if it was done on a canvas size twice that and you drew your silly little smiley face, guess which one is gonna be more clear and more precise? This one right here. You think you're still gonna see each little jagged line? No, you wouldn't because you're giving yourself a lot more space to do what you need to do. And that is draw a damn smiley face. I don't know if that analogy translated well, but that's basically what's going on. Having more field, more surface area, more distance between each side means that each little adjustment is gonna be so much more well-intentioned and controlled. It's gonna be cleaner and more precise. You're giving yourself more space to do that same thing you did. And whenever you do that, you're gonna have better results. And that's basically your simple science or whatever behind it all. <laughs> so that's why you're not gonna need a tall thumbstick on this left one here, because this one is just bound for movement. So having a tall one on this left side is a little bit ridiculous. So with the three different heights, there are also three different styles. You have a concave thumbstick that kind of dips inwards and 
holds your thumb in place. On the opposite side of that, you have a convex or domed style, which is exactly what it sounds like. The thumbstick actually domes outward instead of hugging the thumb, which creates more of a pulling sensation as opposed to a pushing sensation that you would see with a concave thumbstick. Some people prefer this. In fact, look at the old consoles back in the day, the PlayStation 1, 2, and 3, they all had dome thumbsticks without a question. For some people, it's not their jam. Dome thumbsticks tend to have less surface area for your thumb to have actual contact with when comparing them to a hybrid or a concave thumbstick. But third option would be a middle ground between the two called the hybrid. This has been seen as dome with a lip around it in the past, but Control Freak tends to be leaning more towards a flat surface across the board, such as on the Call of Duty Vanguard thumbsticks. They're kind of just flat all the way across. There is a little bit of a concave to it, which feels nice. So there's just the right amount of hug, but not too much to where your thumb is stuck there it's actually really great that's why i recommend those thumbsticks specifically they're just designed so well so now that you understand the three heights and the three styles remember when i told you like the worst ones i ever tried before at the beginning of the video well let me talk about that again because i'm sensing a common theme with me here three that i mentioned were the control freak overwatch and modern warfare thumbsticks all of which kind of have a small dome shape going on with it and I think I just don't like that many dome thumbsticks, which I'm glad I'm mentioning now because between the three styles, there's not really one that's better than the other because this is a thing that just comes down to personal preference. Unlike the size of the thumbstick and the height of the thumbstick, that is preference, but if you can adapt to a tall thumbstick, you're gonna wanna do that because they're just more accurate. If the tall one is like straining your finger and it's not working out, then don't do it. If that's the case, then you probably want to have a mid-rise thumbstick on your aiming thumbstick because its height is still gonna offer some accuracy and grip benefits. It just won't be strenuously tall for you. Which leads me to the next point of which pack you should actually buy because some packs come with a mid-rise and a high-rise thumbstick, allowing you to test which one you actually want to stick with. Something else to think about with thumbsticks in general is that they make for a really good stocking stuffer gift because they're affordable. They're like all 15 to 20 bucks. They're small in size, so they just like fit perfectly. And I think we all know a gamer who would be kind of happy to get something gamer related as a little bonus to their holiday gifts. It's just great to be able to try them and they're just easy and it shows that you thought of them. The coupon code you can use at controlfreak.com is coupon code Ikeable and that will save you 10% off. Sometimes during the holidays, they bump that up to 20% off. I just talked a lot about these funny little thumbsticks. YouTube, thank you for watching the video. I will see you in the next one. Until then, my name is Ikeable.